Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like I was a kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid. But when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time at CYA, and eventually 121 sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence, so I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with prison talk. What's up, everybody? Big Hurt Prison Talk. This episode is about jailhouse shower rolls. Now, as you see, I got my shower shoes on. I'm about to head to the shower. This is what you put on your feet when you step in a motherfucking shower. Now, in the county, you know, depending on how it's set up, you're going to have your boots on, carry your shower shoes, your shower roll. But when you first check in, this is what they give you. Now, usually they don't even give you shower shoes. You got to try to get these from a homie. So hopefully you got somebody up in there you know that's going to look out for you so you don't get foot fungus, bacteria on your on your feet that eats your flesh, ingrown fungus and all that nasty shit because it's filthy up in there. Fucking nasty. You don't ever walk barefooted in prison. Now the bedroll, this is what they give you. Actually, not the bedroll, the shower roll. Bed rolls, your sheets and shit. This is your shower roll with your towel. Now your towel's rolled up. And inside you have... These are dunked on us. Now some places, this is what they give you. Guards be liking this shit. Oh, you give them some dunked on us. They'll climb your motherfucking ass. Don't ever wear these on the motherfucking tier. Or in the unit. Dunked on us will get your wig split. Don't wear these parading around unless you want to get somebody to, to bust some cheeks. Your socks... Now, the socks I, I've shown you right here are white. In prison, these motherfuckers are brown. You don't get new shit like this in prison. Unless you got a plug in the laundry, you know. Motherfuckers are selling new clothes. It's a hustle. The guards know. Everybody knows. It's a racket. They're selling fucking um, new clothes in prison. As far as underwear and all that shit. Boxers. This is what they usually give you some nice boxers. But they ain't nice like this. If you, like I said, new shit, you got to have a plug. Otherwise, you're getting some old, dingy shit that probably 10,000 butts have been in it. Boo-boo stains, all kind of shit. It's nasty, man. It's not cool. T-shirt. This is a clean T-shirt. This is worth some money in prison. See, the underarms ain't got no fucking stains on it. In prison, when they give you some shit, it's going to have some underarm stains because motherfuckers be in there musty. And... It's going to show. So this is a valuable shirt in prison, a clean white t-shirt. Because even though you're in jail, motherfuckers still like to be fly. So a white t-shirt is very important. Towel, towel's white. You know, you don't want to walk around with a brown boo-boo stain towel. You know, I mean, you got to stay on point. You know, you want a clean towel. But even towels, like I said, new towels, new underwear, new, new boxes are hard to come by. Now, I talked about the dunk that ons earlier. They do serve a purpose. They're good for fucking stealing. You get you a good pair of dunk that ons and um, what you do is... You put them over your boxers. So now... See that? You got a little area where you can stash shit. You can stash... Your blinky, your shank, motherfucking sandwiches, uh, books of stamps, um, drugs, all kind of shit. These are what they use food. This is what they use to steal food out the kitchen with. A motherfucker uh, put on, you know, have on his, his, his little uniform, put the food in the glove, tuck it in here, boom. Get patted down. It's, you know, it nothing comes out. They put sandwiches and shit. They have sandwiches all around here. See, all this holds all your, whatever you're stealing in play. So, dunking on do serve a purpose in prison, and it's for stealing. So, if you come across some, that's what you use them for. Hopefully, you don't have to come across some, because hopefully you won't have your ass in prison or in jail, because it ain't cool. But anyways, this is what they use them for. Some motherfuckers use them to, I guess, parade around to show that they want some, uh, you know, some male weenie. 
But uh, if you're trying to make some money, this is what they use them for. Stealing. So that's that's a quick wrap up of um, your shower roll, shower shoes, and what you're going to be dealing with if you have your ass in jail or prison doing time with a bunch of other barbarians.